an initial force of 60,000 Chinese troops could try to gain a foothold on the island, paving the way for up to a million more troops to arrive. But Taiwan would be no easy target. Much of its terrain is rocky and unforgiving, very challenging for an amphibious assault. A key to victory for China, experts say, would be speed, securing crucial footholds on the island early before the United States and its allies could react. Whatever she decides, no! the scary fact is that Taiwan may not be fully prepared to defend itself. We find ourselves looking at numbers that are akin to World War II. A couple of years ago, the Economist declared on its cover that Taiwan, this tiny island home to 24 million people, was the most dangerous place on Earth. The reasons it came to that conclusion remain sound. In fact, have only grown stronger recently. That this issue will need to be managed rather than solved and managed very carefully, both by Beijing and Washington. This is the one place on Earth where there should be little room for macho rhetoric and provocative actions. All three sides should keep talking to ensure no misperceptions or miscalculations. Deterring China from invasion is crucial, but persuading Taiwan to avoid needless provocation is also important. Washington should be careful not to needlessly provoke China as well. None of this is morally satisfying, but the stakes are high enough that one thing is clear. Were these tensions to be mismanaged, were this conflict to turn into war, it would be a lose, lose, lose for all three parties. Indeed, the whole world would suffer cataclysmic consequences. First, we must employ all the tools at our disposal to outcompete China wherever possible. The FY25 request will allow us to continue to invest in the foundations of our strength at home, align with like-minded partners to strengthen our shared interests and address the challenges posed by the PRC and harness those assets to compete with the PRC and defend our interests. Given its ambitions, Beijing will continue to use its military forces to intimidate its neighbors and to shape the region's actions in accordance with the PRC's priorities. We expect the PLA will field more advanced platforms, deploy new technologies, and grow more competent in joint operations with a particular focus on Taiwan and the Western Pacific.